What's up everybody, welcome back to Barnsbox. Today we're going to be doing a guide for The Spy Who Shot Me. Uh, so I've got a few things to mention before we get into this. I recorded this guide in segments, um, and certain levels, you know, I, I, I shot the medals and then died, and you can't repick really up the medals, so there's some editing going on there. Not all the levels are done in one clean shot, but it is obviously possible to do that. I apologize for my aiming in this. Uh, I struggled quite a lot with the aiming, even messing around with the aim smoothing and stuff. I just had a hard time with it. So uh, hopefully you're better at this game than I was and can uh, aim a lot better. As of the time of recording, the achievements are extremely buggy for the medals and the Snooker King and even the one for beating the game. Some won't unlock, some will unlock when they're not supposed to. Um, and I'll post in the description below more detailed workarounds for that. Um, and if you're watching this down the line, uh, hopefully all that stuff's patched up. Uh, these bugs are for Xbox, I don't know about other platforms, PC has been out for a while so I think it might work on there on Steam, PlayStation I don't think the game's out yet but this should be the same game when it does, same with Switch. So hopefully all this stuff gets fixed up for the Xbox achievements and PlayStation trophies just won't be buggy, I don't know. Um, but as of right now it's more of just a 100% guide than it is an achievement guide but it should work as an achievement guide once it's all fixed. Alright, that's enough housekeeping, let's get into it. Pick a new save file and we'll be off. Alright, so you're going to load in at the London office, you're going to go ahead, turn left, go straight. Um, you'll be here a few times, so memorize this route, um, but you're going to want to turn right into the labs here and go down and talk to Smithers. Um, he'll tell you to go do some training, uh, which is just back the way you came. This is just a shooting range, as far as I can tell, there isn't any pattern to it, it's not the same every time. Uh, to get three stairs, you do have to get all 32 of the targets. Um, you can't... Uh, really memorize, you can memorize the places they pop up, but the order seems to be random. Uh, so just keep retrying it until you get a more favorable pattern for yourself, and uh, the first three stars will be yours. Once you do that, your achievement should pop for three stars training, um, or your trophy, or uh, whatever. Um, and you're going to go ahead and move on to your first main mission. Um, but before we do that, we do have to go talk to Smithers. Uh, I got lost in a room, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, you just go back to where you came, you talk to Smithers, he'll be like, congratulations, you passed training, whatever. Um, so you're going to head out of this room, turn right, and up here is the way to go to Mother. Uh, just follow along, turn right, turn right again, and then uh, walk into the question mark and we'll be on mission one. So mission one is the only mission where you're not going to be able to get all the medals on your first run, uh, but I'll get into that in a little bit. And to start with here, you're just going to be skydiving, dodge the flying geese or whatever they are. Um, it's real easy. You can hold left trigger to kind of bring yourself in, I think, but I don't really know what that does. Uh, just, just head down. Hit the top of the light, uh, the lighthouse, White House, and we'll be, uh... So right here's your first hostage, you need to get three hostages in this level. You shoot them to release them, that's your first one. Uh, so you go down here. You can take out this guy here so he's not a problem later on. You can punch him, shoot him in the back of the head, do whatever. Um, once you're in this main hallway, there'll be a guy, he might run for an alarm, he might just run at you. In this case, he ran at me. Um, up the stairs here is your first medal, it is behind the picture, so go ahead shoot the picture, shoot the medal, so that's one out of three medals. And uh, you can head down this hall, it'll teach you about fire alarms to lure people, which you can do, or you can just run in there and start shooting, shooting at the place, entirely up to you. You're going to come in here, there's going to be three more guys to kill anyway. Uh, this level's really easy because nobody has any guns or anything to throw at you or anything, so... It's pretty simple to keep distance. In here will be a shotgun, which is arguably the best gun in the game. There is uses for other weapons, but this is like, I don't know, the best universal weapon to have. Uh, you can come back here for some more shotgun ammo. And then we're just going to head back the way we came after we've hit that seven in the circle, which is like the keys. You hit those and it opens doors. That's kind of the gimmick of the whole game. Um... Again, you can make a detour into this room. 
and get some ammo. Um, but now we're going to go back up those stairs where we've got that first medal and turn to the right. This door will now be open. You'll get your first and only checkpoint for the uh, level in here. Just, just feel free to just start mowing people down with your shotgun. So in here is going to be the only medal you can't get on your first playthrough. You need to come back and replay this level once you've got the jump ability. As you can see me using it here. If this is your first time playing through, you won't have unlocked the ability to jump, which is crazy, I know. But I don't think you unlock that until after level two. But once you're up here, you come onto this balcony. Get in here. Turn to the left, look into the pure pitch black and shoot that metal. Um, so yeah, if you're just replaying for that one, then... Now you can head back out this way. There is a secret way, but I decided to show this way because there's a hostage back here that you couldn't get before. You needed to wait for those uh, new enemies to spawn so that door open for you. Um... Oh yeah, no, we're just heading back again to the foyer, the main entrance way. Shoot more enemies that spawn through the other door that's open now. And just keep following the path. We will find enemies. Uh, you'll see in this room we're about to go into, on the left there is a wall with a lightning bolt on it. Um, it's just behind where I'm here at the moment. Um, yeah, on the right here is the last hostage. So that should satisfy objective three. So here's the lightning bolt door. We'll be back there later because the vice president is in there. Um, so when you come up to here, make sure you avoid the number seven that was in that hallway because that will start the countdown timer. Uh, this is the vent you could have come through from the other room. I just come in here to grab the magnum. Don't have to, but it will carry over to the next mission if you would like it. If you're playing the level sequentially anyway. So make sure you go into that corner, shoot that thing, and then you can go rescue the vice president and then come back and activate the timer if you want to play a little safer. I go ahead and activate the timer because there's more than enough time to do both because this door is now open. Uh, there's another magnum in here um, and you free the vice president again by shooting him. <laughs> um, there's no sense as that makes. So now it's just a clear shot to the end of the mission with one medal left to get. Um, which is right at the end here. You're going to come through here. There's going to be a bunch at the bottom of the stairs here. You can shoot the chandelier down like the game recommends. Or you can just shoot them all. Shoot that guy. I almost forget the medal. Um, so there's the exit down here. Um, but uh, the medal. This will show you how much time you actually have really. The medal is in this room. Um, so it's right at the start of this door. It's open right away. Uh, you come in here and look up. You'll see it. Uh, and now you can go through that door that was locked from the very beginning. And that is your three stars for uh, the White House. This next level is the mines. If you're playing this uh, on a fresh save, it will continue right on from uh, the White House. You're now in the basement. Um, so go ahead, turn right, it's the only way you can go. You're gonna kill this guys there is a shotgun in here if you're playing this for mission replay um otherwise your shotgun from the first mission should carry through um your first medal is going to be in this room but you can't get it quite yet um and you're a three star you've got to find the ufo documents and uh find the three hostages again so it's similar uh setup from the last mission so here, take out whoever's here and look in this very dark corner. There is a room here. If your brightness is up, you might be able to see it a bit better, but go in there and look up and uh, there will be medal number one. Um, yeah, what well, you're going to head back into the middle again. So you've done two of the three rooms. Now there's only one section left. Um, you're going to go ahead and take those guys out and head down into this tunnel. Clearing out any enemies you see. But uh, turn to the left here and shoot out these planks. Um, unfortunately, the plank gets in the way here for me. So hopefully you don't run into this issue. But you need to crouch into this hole to find your second metal. Um, yeah, turn to the right and it's up here on the ceiling or on the wall. So that's uh, two of the three medals already. Um, the third one is next to one of the secondary objectives. So we'll get to that soon. Uh, use a grenade to blow up this rubble here. Hopefully you have some. 
and uh, there's first aid on the wall if you need it. And most like the vice president, come around here, shoot the lightning bolt, it'll open this door here. And you come down here, there's going to be quite a few enemies here, so shotgun your way through if you need to. Um, and you'll see the UFO there, just keep looping around, you'll eventually find the table with the documents on it. You need to shoot the documents on the table, and that will satisfy objective two. Uh, head back to where the UFO is, you need to crouch through the railings. Uh, you can actually crouch under the UFO if you want a magnum. But just keep going to the other side, you'll find your last medal. Um, then you want to come back, crouch through the, uh, the bars, apologies for how dark this is, and um, make your way back up to that room with the electric bolt and stuff. So you still don't find any hostages, we have all three medals, but don't worry, you have not missed any yet. Uh, you're going to go in here, loop around this kind of tunnel uh, to open the next door. It'll spawn a bunch of enemies, so watch out for that. Uh, do whatever you have to do to take them out. Uh, but go straight across from there. You should see, um, you know, some more boards to get through, and you'll find your first hostage. Right next to him, around the corner, is your second hostage. And then we're going to go back and head down to the next room. That door that I just ran up to is where your last hostage is, but it's not open yet. You will have to get him on the way out uh, during the escape sequence. Come in here, don't try try not to get cornered by that guy. Uh, you can grab a machine gun from the left there on your way down to meet Agent 6, who is hanging around. Um, shoot him down, grab the uh, the key, as I keep calling them, the circle, and uh, head back up. And it's a, it's a very linear path, you're kind of basically going down. Uh, there's some more ammo in this room here, health and stuff. If you need it, you will want to stock up. Um, on health if you're not already because this is your first defense part of the game you're gonna have to stand in the circle uh, you can leave the circle if you need to and it won't lose progression as far as I could tell um, it's pretty easy I like to stand in this corner just keep an ear out for where they're coming from it is random each time and just I like the uh, I like the machine gun for or the SMG or whatever it is for these defense parts I think it works out quite well once it's done make sure you clear out the enemies as best you can because you don't want them coming up behind you. But anyway, um, you do have a decent amount of time, but don't waste too much because there is a boss you've got to kind of a mini boss you've got to take out at the end of this. Again, just mow down as many of the enemies as you can, as quick as you can, because we do have to get that last hostage as well. You can dip in here if you need some health, ammo, or whatever. Um, towards you head up the second tunnel, uh, on the left here will be the room with it's now open and your third hostage is chilling in the corner here so that's everything done we just need to finish the mission now so keep following six as he snakes his way up the platform makes sure no one's behind you as you come up here shotgun i found works best for this guy should go down in a few hits and then just run back up to the start of the mission and that's where it ends that is it for the first two missions. You are now going to be heading back to HQ. Security! Security! So we're back at the London office. You're going to want to go ahead and basically follow the same path you did at the beginning of the game. We're going to go turn to the left here and head up to Smithers. He will want to give us the jumping shoes finally. So you can, once you've got these, go back and replay mission one if you want to get your missing medal. Um, or carry on and do it later, up to you. Um, just come back up here, talk to Mother. He will give you a next mission, which will be the speedboat, which is a real simple mission. It is... Um, there's no medals and just a few side objectives, so right away, don't go through the gate, turn 90 degrees to your right and just follow kind of the uh, outside of the island that we're at and look for this boat because behind this boat is a box that you can see floating here in the water. Um, the boat can be a little bit hard to control, but hopefully you don't struggle too much. Just drive into the box and then carry on heading around 
I like to go uh, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise because it's easier to see the entrance back into the level once you're done. Um, but yeah, just keep heading around here until you see this like rock sticking out here past some mines and stuff and the next box is on the land strip between the two rocks. Um, the boat does have wheels so don't worry about getting stuck on the land. It's like the anti-Lotus Esprit from the Spy Who Loved Me. Um, and then again, keep going around, look for the two boats that are like parallel to each other and the last box is in between them. All right, that's one objective done. Um, now you're just gonna want to uh, head, not this way. You're gonna wanna head further around to get back to where you started essentially and go through the gate that I told you not to go through at the beginning. Um, it's not too much further around here. Here you go. Look for this like light boat, lighthouse looking thing. So you can go through there. It's pretty linear from here on. It's the same um, kind of setup as, as most of the game. Um, you're looking for the seven to open the door to go through to open a different seven to get to the exit type of thing. Um, so just follow through this fairly narrow linear path. Turn to the right here. You're going to need to go off this ramp. Just come off, follow it again under these bridges and things. Uh, as far as I know, nobody can shoot at you. There's dudes with knives on the on the shoreline, but they just have knives. They're not going to do much. Uh, but do look out for the mines. Uh, anyway, come up here, turn right. Once you're in here, you'll see this antenna. Just drive through that. That's your other objective. Simple as that. Now you just got to finish the mission. Um, I don't think there's much else I can really say. Cause, um, you just you grab that seven, you come back, you go through this gate that was to the left as you came in originally. You'll loop around. When you loop around, you'll find your last seven key, and then it's just a case of just running back to where that door was closed that you passed before you went off the ramp. Um, but yeah, so head back under the bridges. And then it will be on your right as you come back out. Yeah, and that is the end of Speedboat. Not a scratch on her. Look where you're going. Right, so the next level is the beach. Uh, you'll spawn here on the... Uh, Next to the lotter in your beach blankets, beach towel. Sorry, um, you could take out this guy behind the boat if you're clever. And there's one other guy chasing you. There's going to be a few guys around this corner. Um, three, I think. And you're going to want to take those out, whichever way you want. And then we'll start working on the first side objective, which is to uh, rescue Lotta's parents. Um, I go around there, take out this guy. When you come back around here, there's going to be new people that have come out the uh, the hangar barn thing here. Come in here, um, look at this electrical sign, like you've done the last couple of levels. Take that out. I'd leave that health pack if I were you for after we come back. You're going to need it. Here you can grab the sniper rifle if you want, down on the d-pad if you would like to zoom in with it. Uh, every gun has an alternate fire, which is something I completely forgot about when I was playing this game. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and clear out everybody in this uh, on the lawn of this man's house. Uh, there is one guy hiding out back here who was uh, caught short. Um, that should be it for objective two. We've rescued the parents, this was the house. So now we're gonna head back the way we came. Um, and if you don't have a hundred health, like uh, once you're back here, which I do, but if you don't grab the health pack that was in that barn there, and then get up here, you don't need the barrels, but they help. Um, being shot at from somewhere, I'm not entirely sure where. 
Um, but anyway, uh, run along here, watch out for the jump, and then crouch under here. So now you're going to shoot these planks um, and fall down this hole. You're going to take a lot of damage. If you're at 100, you'll be left with 16, I think. Um, so you haven't got much to play with. So be very careful coming through here. This is one of the trickier medals because you have to take that damage as far as I can tell. Um, so if you wanted, you could collect the machine gun from the start of the level, which I should grab here in a minute. Um, and, and take that with you. Or you can just be slowly creep your way up here. If you didn't already have the sniper, grab that and shoot the mask that was inside that little black triangle cave up there. Alright, so that is uh, metal number one. Um, so here to the left, basically at the start here, after you pick up the number seven is when that opens. You can go ahead and... Uh, that was the guy that was shooting at me earlier. You can go ahead and grab this machine gun, which will be useful later on. We will get a shotgun soon, so don't worry. I'm going to go in here now and grab the health pack that I didn't pick up before. So if you're able to do that, you can save that for then. Keep an eye out. They like to hide behind these containers. I know they're in set places, but I don't remember where they all are off the top of my head. I've only played through this game four times, I think, at this point. Um, I don't have everything memorized. Anyway, up here is the shotgun. If you're sneaky, you can kind of scoot around the edge of that container instead of jumping down. Save yourself a little bit of time. Uh, come into this barn, hangar, I'm not sure what it's called, but building. And there's an electric thing behind here that you're going to want to take out. Uh, so that opened up that gate next to these, this guy here. And... There is guys in here waiting for you. Take out everybody as best you can. Health pack there if you need it. Um, there's one gun crate there, and the other gun crate is just around the back. So that's two of the three gun crates right next to each other, basically, uh, for your other objective. Uh, no hostages to rescue this time, but gun crates to shoot. So carry on progressing through the level as normal. Um, gonna be more dudes with guns. Which I think this is the first level we've had dudes with guns. There was a guy throwing knives in the mines, but... It's fairly easy to dodge. They have a decently long wind-up time and... whatnot. Um, another machine gun there if you didn't pick it up already. And then grab the 7. This will start an ambush, uh, so you can just kind of wait at the entrance to the 7 here and... wait for everybody to show themselves, take them all out. as they walk slowly towards you like a bunch of idiots. So come to the right here now and you'll find one of these containers is now open. Kind of back into it or get into it, turn around, you'll find the metal on the back of the door. Um, so that was kind of a bit of backtracking, not a huge amount. Uh, and then carry it on with the level until you get to the next section with the guys hiding behind these boats. There is a health pack here if you need it. Um, and then you're going to go to this waterfall. And crouch. And push up against it. And you'll just go straight through. Do you need to crouch though? It is not. You can't just walk into it. That'll be a third medal for the beach. Uh, so you, right now you should have everything done except the last gun crate. Um... So just keep pushing through until you get to this last seven. Have this guy actually die properly would be nice. Uh, so as soon as you pick up that seven is your, uh, your countdown timer that you're probably used to by now. Happens a bit too much in the game if you ask me, but there we go. Um, so once you come up this section here, just jump across here and loop to the left. You find this little hidden passage behind the bushes for your last gun crate there was a guy there that you can take out as well um, and that's it for the objectives you just need to finish the level now so come out jump onto the crate or the container and just carry on platforming your way through watch out for the guy with the gun on this last bit here 
showing off the range of the shotgun which is absolutely ridiculous and then that's it you're home free just run along this beach to get to the little tiki bar type thing and speak to six who's got quite a unique disguise All right, apologies for this next part. I had to come back and record it afterwards because I messed up the recording. Um, but this is, you'll be in Jamaica and you just basically need to follow this straight road. Follow the signs for the apartments that you'll see around uh, to get to Agent 6 to carry on. There is other stuff to do here in Jamaica, but I'll show that at the end of the game. We'll just progress the story for now. Uh, so there's two side missions and medals to get, but I'll be covered later on in the video. So you can check out that if... Uh, if you're just here for that later on um, but yeah once you're in the apartment it's straight shot just follow it around and six will be in this room to the left he's not here for me because i did this after i'd already been the story but he should be here there'll be a question mark there to shoot uh to uh click on click on that and then you'll be on the docked mission so right off the bat here we're gonna do something a little cheesy and skip some of the level but um, well, not quite right away. We're going to go get the first uh, gun stash, whatever it is that we're supposed to shoot this time around. Um, so just get into the water. I don't think the shark can eat you. I hadn't had it happen. Um, and just follow back around the way you came, essentially, to find the secret ramp. There are guys in here to look out for, so make sure you get all of them. Um, and then in here is the gun crate. Um some ammo as well for a gun that you won't have yet if you do this right away but here's your gun crate on the back left here so that's it in here um taking a quick look at some ammo there isn't any um we're gonna go ahead and basically go back to the start that's crate number one i found the objectives in this one quite tricky to find um but Anyway, i um, going to jump over here, like he says, but you don't need to do the seven. You can just simply jump over that box if you sprint and jump and then sprint back in here and near the other side of the door uh, without having to open it, which spawns enemies. So you can save yourself the, the hassle there by just jumping that box. Um, and here's the machine gun. Now you can try shooting this alarm to lure people. It didn't seem to work for me. Um, Again, there's a box here to help you get on this box, but you don't need it. Um, that's kind of how most of the game is. They give you these boxes to help and you don't actually need them. But there's that little box if you're having trouble getting up onto this, but a sprint and the jump will get you up all the same. Um, shoot this guy, try the alarm again here, and it should lure them. And then you can blow up that barrel for a quick triple kill. Uh, so here's another defense uh, section, much like the mines. Found the shotgun best for this that's here. Uh, so, I mean, those guys down there that you'll be coming to later. But yeah, again, stand in the circle. You, you can see all three doors that come out of if you kind of look like this. Uh, there's one on your close left, one in the middle, and one on that far right. So just. Keep on top of them and uh, that's objective complete. But before we go, head into that far right door that they were coming out of and see this little electrical switch. Uh, must be used to those by now. That'll open this door here in the back right and we can head down, taking out the enemies. And this is uh, the special, the other objective two that isn't the drug crates. Destroy that drug crate. Or gun crate, whatever it is. Objective crate. <laughs> That'll finish objective two. There's a magnum there if you want it as well. And uh, we're just going to head back the way we came now. Um, back out to where we jumped on that box. That had the little box if you wanted it to get up on it. Um, so head all the way back out here. Uh, watch out for any guys that you haven't taken out yet. And then on your close left here, look out for this payphone in the corner. And then next to it is a crouch hole you can get in. And here is your medal. That is your first medal of the level. Uh, and then carry on. Hit the checkpoint. Uh, balance across this plank if you want. Or we can go to the left here. I'll quickly show you for some health. 
So, you know, if you got messed up in that defense, there's health there if you need it. Um, so yeah, you balance across this beam or just hop it like that. I found it easier to hop. Um, and when it comes to seven, make sure you're kind of uh, looking at the ship because it will spawn people as soon as you hit it. Uh, so yeah, take out the three guys on the boat, come around this corner, hit these three guys. There's a bunch of dudes in this hallway here. So there is one with a gun up top. You can see me trying to take out now. Once he's taken out, it's fairly straightforward. There was a guy behind that box that didn't come out. Sometimes he does. I, I'm not sure what triggers him. Um, around here, there's going to be some guys. But if you wait for that guy on the slope to come down for you, you can get all three with the barrel. Uh, then go over under that slope where they came from, uh, bust into these planks, and there's your second drugs crate, objective crate, whatever. Um, so now go the other way and just start clearing out some enemies. There's some more health there if you need it. Uh, second mask is there in the back left corner. Um, there's some more guys around. Including one of the bigger guys that without shotgun would be more problematic. Uh, so look for that gap in the containers, and around there is your third and final mask. There is a uh, uh, health pack there as well if you need it. Um, again, you can use that little box to get up there, but you don't need it. You can just sprint and jump up. Um, and so here's one of the trickier parts of the whole game, in my opinion. Coming up is a defense section. Um, so we're going to go in here, there is a drug crate we need to get first, um, and there is health in this back corner here if you need it. And before you stand in the circle that's in this room, make sure you go up here, it will make your life much easier to do it now. Uh, and there's your third and final drug crate cache. Um, <clears throat> head back down, stand in the circle, you're going to have a variety of dudes with knives and guns either rushing you or shooting you, so you got to try and keep on top of them, if you let them overwhelm you you'll probably die even on normal. Um, so there's two doors up top and one door at the bottom, uh, kind of on the bottom left there. There, it's just open now. Um, so just kind of try and keep on top of everybody that's spawning. Keep an ear out for that kind of cock of a gun uh, to know when bad guys with guns are spawning. It's starting to get a little out of my hands now. Uh, like I said in the previous defense, you can leave the circle if you need to to go get health or just take a breather that once you're finished the timer will start to escape um so bear that in mind um because after that we just need to escape we already have all three medals we've done all the objectives so it's just a case of getting out watch out for that dude hiding around the corner um and we're gonna come out here and turn right uh got stuck on the floor there for whatever reason there's health there if you haven't picked it up already um then you're gonna jump on this container which is what we were doing standing in that circle and just run you can just run to the end of the ship if you want you can slowly take out the enemies in your way you have plenty of time here you got two like probably almost two minutes by the time you get on this ship um to just make your way to the end i just decide to uh <laughs> just finish it there but i mean you can clear them out and that's the docks that's one of the harder missions in the game in my opinion so if you made it through that congratulations i'll see you on the next mission Alright, so ship, uh, which you'll load into right after uh, after docks, is a real short mission, it's pretty easy. It does have a quite a tight escape timer, I think, compared to some of the others. Um, but to start with, uh, you're just going to follow the linear path here. Only one way you can go. Um, shoot this fire alarm to make the guy come out of the room. You'll always go that way for some reason. I guess that's the direction of the fire. Um, walk into the corner. Shoot him in the head. Here's your first hostage. We're back to rescuing three hostages and uh, destroying the engine. But the engine is back. Once you hit that number seven key, you head back to where we spawned. So just head all the way back here. Have something equipped to take out a few enemies. Um, a couple of big guys in here. Uh, shoot the mask that's in this back corner here, basically where we spawned. Uh, with the door open now. And then shoot that terminal box computer thingy. Uh, to satisfy objective two 
All right, now we're going to come back this way and go through the door that opened from hitting that seven key as well. Uh, the hostage is here behind the box as well as metal two. And uh, our first real boss fight. So he's pretty easy. You just kind of run around until he starts shooting at you. Um, I mean, you got to stand in this bomb. Nothing will happen to you while you're standing here. It's easy way for it to fill up and then the boss will trigger once you start leaving. Um, so you want to wait for him to stop, uh, to start shooting at you, and he will uh, get behind a box or something. Wait for it to end. If he's too close to the box, the bullets will sometimes come through. But you'll see after he's done, he'll uh, put one foot up and give you three shots. If you've got the shotgun from the previous level, absolutely decimates him. If you're replaying this, you'll probably be stuck with the pistols. So you might have to do a couple of phases. Uh, but anyway, and we're on to the timer. That is only a minute or so, a minute five, whatever it started at. So you just want to kind of go through the linear path. When you come to this first door here, turn left. Um, there's a guy either way, so maybe take them both out. But the metal is here at the dead end on the left. So that's metal number three. Then go back the other way. Hit the key seven circle thing. And then head back to the newly opened door, which I just ran past. Um, there's a guy in there shooting at you to make you know that you're on the right way. When you come through there, turn to the right to find the last hostage and then that's it you just need to get to the end of the level like i said it's it's a little bit tight trying to get everything in a single run for this i think but it's definitely doable uh come through here make sure you've got something to take all the enemies with um and then the exit is here in this in this room that's it for ship Next is kind of this hub, hub interlude type thing again. We're on the airplane, um, so there's no enemies or anything. We just need to go get our briefing for the next level, which is in the toilet downstairs. So just, I mean, it's a plane, it's two levels. You just run all the way to one end, down the steps, and then run all the way to the other end, because that's where the toilets are in this plane, uh, apparently, and um, trigger the cutscene. Uh, watch it if you like. Uh, once you're done there, you just got to head back up to your seat, which is essentially where we started um, with the with the bomb, just chilling in our in, in the seat next to us. So head all the way back upstairs and uh, step into the question mark on the left. The next up is the airbase. This is a flashback mission, um, but very much the same as the rest. Uh, to start off, we're just going to clear out everybody that's here in these first couple of hangars. Um, and then the first metal is right here in the second room behind uh, in the back of this truck. Uh, for now, you just want to keep following uh, one or Agent One, as uh, the game calls him. Um, he'll lead you around. He'll you basically follow him the entire level. Uh, so we go down the slope. There's a health pack there if you need it. Take up this guy. There's a shotgun in the showers here on the right. Um, as soon as you meet up with one here, uh, enemies will spawn. So kind of go backwards if I were you like this. So you can see all the uh, half naked enemies spawn in front of you. And there's a medal sitting on the bed right here on the right. Uh, keep going straight ahead. Don't follow one just yet. Take out the couple riot shields in here. Head all the way down to find your first hostage. Um, so quick uh, note is anybody that one touches as he's running around he will kill so you might get lucky and he takes out some some people for you which is nice and when you come up back up here that will be repopulated with the enemies as you would expect uh, don't follow one again just yet go straight across um, you can come in this room here on the left if you'd like to get some ammo um, and then we'll just so straight across through here and just follow the path up you'll find a guy and the second hostage i happen to get them both at the same shot but that was the hostage there uh come in here there is a machine gun which will be useful health there if you need it and this is the terminal to blow up for the other objective so that leaves us with just one uh, medal and one hostage left and we're getting pretty close to the end of the level so backtrack basically to where you started almost you'll see one sitting here this door's open now so you can follow him in 
I'd recommend the machine gun for the amount of enemies there are, but shotgun or whatever will work too. Use whatever you want to take out everybody in these kind of long, narrow, cafeteria type rooms. Uh, if you like, you can come in this vent. It's not required for anything. You can get round to the other side just fine as well. I just like going through it. Um, but they can shoot you through uh, the windows there like just happened to me. And your last hostage is right here. So you can get to him by coming through this cafeteria here. And then turning left. Or you can come through the vent like I did. And he's right there. So that is all three hostages. Um, your last medal is going to be just through this next room. Machine gun here if you didn't pick it up before. And some ammo to help clear out this last room. Duck in and out. Take them all out. Run to the end. And instead of turning right where one does, turn to the left. And you'll see the medal up above the door. That is all three medals for this level. And the mission ends as soon as you meet up with one the last time. So this level is going to go pretty thick and fast because the whole thing is timed. Um, so you might want to try and do the medals and the objectives in separate runs. It's up to you. Uh, it's possible to do it in one. Um, but so yeah, first time, go right, shoot that uh, generator up in the corner. Uh, take out both sets of uh, gas tanks, come down in this right hand room and take out the metal at the bottom hanging from underneath where the entrance is that you came in. We're going to head back and go through to the next area. Um, again, you don't need the box, but you can go up and get it if you want. It takes a lot longer. Uh, just hop up here, take out the people you want. Uh, the generator is up above the walkway there. Um, on your right, crouch into this vent that's tucked away and kill everybody in this room. That is your other secondary objective. Take out this medal. That's your second medal. And then head back to finish up the objective for this section. Grab health if you need it and go to the last area. Like I said, this whole area is timed, so if you want to do medals and objectives separately, that is entirely up to you. But yeah, keep uh, clearing out enemies as best you can. Uh, I went to the left here. Your last medal is up in the corner of this kind of interim room here. Make sure you shoot that for your last medal. And then head back and go to the uh, other side that you haven't been to yet. And apologies for this cut right here, because uh, I got lost and went the wrong way. Um, so that's why the time is drastically reduced for me. This is still the same run though. Uh, you're going to want to take out these things in the last gen is up to the left of those last uh, gas cans there. Then you need to run back to the middle, run up to one, and uh, just run to the end of this tunnel. So this is basically an endless runner. Hold down your left trigger to sprint and just dodge as all the stuff you can. If you hear anything, you will die. Uh, slow down towards the end because there is a double box. You'll see it coming up soon here. There it is. I slow down to get through that and then sprint the rest of the way to the end. I know I have 12 seconds left there, so you feel free to uh, not sprint quite as much if you don't want. Um, there is a checkpoint there too, so if you die, you'll just start at that running section. Uh, so it's not too bad to keep redoing. And um, that's it for the gas labs. Right, so we'll be back at the London office. Um, it's the same deal as the last couple of times. We've got to go see Smithers to get something I don't think you ever use. I have picked up this gadget and I don't think you can use it. I think it's just a gag. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you found a way to use the gadget in the field. Um, but yeah, grab that off him um, and then go speak to Mother again to start up Train, which is very reminiscent of GoldenEye, as much of this game is. Uh, as soon as it starts, get ready to duck or shoot quick because there is two people right here ready to shoot you. Um, and your first medal's right here too, right underneath this counter. So pop that. Um, and much like, you know, a train would be and the gold GoldenEye train, it's just a straight, very, very linear level. Some magnum ammo there that I backed into. Um, as you progress through, you'll see people in the rooms. You just need to clear them out. Try and avoid getting shot as much as I did. And your first 
uh, remote tracker here is under this first seat in this room with the first set of enemies, a second set of enemies. For now, um, carry on clearing them out. Uh, this level does have a very tricky metal that I'll get into when we get there, but um, be prepared to have to restart the checkpoint a lot. But yeah, just keep pushing through this train, clearing out all the enemies until you get to the very end where you can't go any further and there's that seven circle key to step in. Once you hit and grab health if you need to, step in the seven to unlock the thing and spawn the next set of enemies. Make sure you take those two out and go in this first uh, carriage here on the left. Uh, there's a machine gun here in this vent for you. Um, and we're going to want to keep going further down this train uh, via the vent to get to our next medal and the next uh, secondary objective. The kind of standalone one that isn't the, the trackers. Um, there's three carriages I think we got to go through here just same deal as the rest of it just pick them off take cover and then in this third carriage here take this last guy out get the ammo and stuff if you want shoot these papers for your secondary objective and then behind this box in the back you will find medal number two so once you've done that, we can just start heading back towards the front of the train. We'll get the last couple of trackers along the way. More enemies will spawn because you've been in there, which is nice of them. Uh, shotgun here in the second carriage on the left. And then in this third carriage on the left, there should be a tracker under the seat. Next tracker will be in this next carriage in one of the rooms. Abysmal aim as usual. Uh, take out the guy in here and then look up. So unlike the other two, this one's actually on the basically the ceiling. That satisfies all your objectives for the 100%. So the only thing we got left to do now is get the medal. Which is going to come up once we get to the next section past the checkpoint. Um, but for now, just keep clearing out the train, pushing down till you get to three who's standing there waiting for you at the end in the room where you started in with the bar. So he'll get there, he'll block the door. I like sitting in this corner. It is similar to those, you haven't got a meter to fill up like those bombs from earlier missions, but you just got to hold off against these uh, enemies as they come in. They like to come in mostly from behind you, but they will occasionally spawn on your close left if you're standing here. So watch out for that. I like the alternate fire on the SMG, uh, the kind of slow, steady shots. Uh, but once you're done with that, head into the bar and then go into the exit. So once we come out here, we're going to be on the lookout for a medal. Um, so we're going to jump over these first couple of train carriages and then shoot this first guy duck under that uh bar but then when the second bar is getting ready to come you're going to want to look at it and start shooting underneath the bar kind of in the middle and i'll put a screenshot up here now so you can kind of see it um it's real hard to see just kind of spray and pray though is my best advice and uh if you don't get it just jump off the train and you'll restart back at the beginning of the top of the train I mean, once you finally manage to get that medal, uh, it's simply a case of getting across these train tops. Um, so watch out for enemies popping out of the the roofs. Um, they pretty obvious holes that come out of, but they don't come out of every hole. Make sure you keep an eye out for more of those overhead kind of bar beams. Look over that guy sneaking on the front of that train on the right. He's probably the sneakiest thing to look out for. Um, and crouch under the overhead beams when you see them uh, take out these last few guys and then I mean you got plenty of time on this so don't be too stressed out like hey I wait for the bar to come I could have easily pushed it but I had time um, so then jump across to the exit and that is train
So Wilds is uh, a little bit of a tricky one, I suppose, but not too bad. Uh, I'd start off by running forward and grabbing this Magnum. You can leave that health kit for later. Uh, there's a rifle here on this box if you would like it. Um, and then turn around and come back the way you came. So I found it easiest to jump on top of this train here and then onto the side because there is a metal down here on this side of the train. So you'll see it in this final little joiner thing. Um, and from here, you can go all the way back if you'd like, or I like to jump on top of the train here. Watch out for the people down below. Um, take out this guy, there's Magnum Ammo that I just landed on, hit the key, and then just start taking out everybody that's in your way here. Just look out for the guy that's on the roof. He's a little bit further away. You could use the rifle if you had it, have it. Um, I just use the Magnum for most of it. And then here, um, you can just go to the left of this train. You don't need to worry about fighting everybody else along the way back. So for this mission, we do have to take out three antenna and find the three medals and rescue agent. I think it's five we need to rescue. Um, so I come back, grab that health pack that I mentioned, take out that guy, take out that guy in the front of the train. The door on the left, as you see it now, does open. There was three guys up here that may come down early. I've had it happen. They didn't this time. Take those out and you can get up here to the checkpoint. So I like to go to the left here, but it's kind of an open area. Can't really do much wrong until you hit the final uh, key circle, but uh, just a lot of enemies in this open area and they do hit quite hard. So be careful. Um, let's come along here, come back on yourself over this ledge and look out for the load of people down there in the front. Like I said, carefully get rid of them all. You might have seen the medal already on our left. Um, but I'm not grabbing it until I finish taking these guys out. Again, down on the D-pad if you uh, don't know how to scope with the rifle. Um, but yeah, you saw me just look at the metal right there. It's under this tree. And there is an antenna that way uh, by the kind of outcropping of rock. One last guy to take out. So this is what the antenna looks like, very much like the speedboat level. Um, and then in here there is health if you need it. Here's that gadget I mentioned earlier. I don't know how to use it. I don't know if you can or if it's just a gag. I think it might just be a gag. Um, but yeah, anyway, come past this truck where all these guys were and through the tunnel and you'll see Agent 5 stuck in the tree. Shoot him down, he'll get stuck in the snow, but your job's done here. He can figure that out himself. Um, and we're going to head back around to the side we haven't been yet. There'll be some guys standing probably with their backs to you. Um, because you didn't come that way originally. Just take them all out. Uh, there's two more guys at the entrance to the hole that we want to crawl through. And another two or three by the next antenna across the way in the fenced area. So you can take out the two guys in front of the box there. The other guys are in this fenced area, like I said. Um, the entrance to this is all the way back here by these trees in the hole in the fence. Uh, so... Once you've taken those three out, here's your antenna. Do it, it as you please. Uh, there's some more rifle ammo in here. Um, you could just hop the boxes to get back out quickly and go through this crawl space uh, on the right. Um, there's a handful of people in here as well that you can slowly pick off as usual. So they all have guns at this point, so you want to be somewhat cautious with it. Uh, down on the D-pad if you don't know how to use the grenade launch with a shotgun. Basically, any gun you get, press down on the D-pad to experiment with the alternate fire. And it, the grenade launcher uses the grenades that you have. So it's the same ammo as you're throwing grenades. Anyway, you can feel free to check out these buildings if you want for you know health packs and whatnot. Um, so here's a kind of hard to see one. So if you guys see what I'm doing, you want to jump up on this ledge that we first 
uh, so when we came in and don't slip off like I just did. Uh, once you're up there, turn around and look to the left. And you can kind of see a ledge there, hopefully. And just jump to it. And then the metal's fairly obvious and there's up high on the wall. So that is all three medals. We just need to finish the last antenna. Um, so this box here, again, you can push the little box if you like, or you can just sprint jump on it from the higher piece of land, not the lower piece that the box is in. You can just jump up. No issues at all. Um, and here's the timer seven, the last one of the mission. So once you get that, start hauling your little butt over um, to the left side here where we went originally uh, that cave is now going to be open um, That we would we, we ignored it earlier. It was closed before so Take out everybody in here. Like I said, I prefer the machine gun uh, I was kind of experimenting with the slow rate of fire here, but I think the faster rate of fire is better for when you're on the move you got plenty of time on this one, so feel free to sit here with the sniper rifle like I am and pick off what you can see. Uh, there's quite a few people out here to take out, uh, along with the final antenna that you can see right in the middle of my scope there. So now it's just a case of getting to the end of the level. I fail miserably at shooting that guy's how. <laughs> Jump on top of the box. And then there's a little kind of gauntlet of enemies to get through, but they're all in on their own, so it's not too bad. Just take them all out as you're going. With whatever your weapon preference is. And then, as you get here, turn left, follow the sign. You can see the other antenna from here if you uh, missed it, but you should have got it by now and hit the exit. That is the wilds. So uh, now we're off to Switzerland. Next up, we are back in a new hub area, which is uh, Switz or Xmas Village. It's called a few different things for whatever reason. But simply go forward, go over the bridge, turn right, and just head straight. You'll come to this kind of marketplace area. Just keep going through there till you get to the church. Hop in the front door where the question mark is, and we'll be on to the mountains mission. Uh, so there's no enemies in this mission, but you do need to beat uh, Agent 3 up to the top. So don't be too slow about it, but feel free to do just that objective and then backtrack through the level to get stuff like that gun crate that I just got that's in the cave on the left after you first jump up. Um, so you're going to come over here, grab this 7 to open up the next path, jump back. A lot of platforming in this level, so hopefully you can get somewhat used to the jumping. Um, you're just kind of following around like every other level but with more platforming uh, to the different seven keys get beating him to the top shouldn't cause you much of an issue he's really slow uh, but yeah when you get to this part with the pillars and he's climbing up the wall there make sure you grab this metal um, or, or you can come back and get it because once you beat him to the top you can come back to anywhere in the level uh, so once you get that key there drop down here to shoot this gun crate so you should be at two gun crates this is a tricky platforming section, but it will get you to the top a lot quicker, so I highly recommend it, especially going for the objective to beat three up there. There's also a shotgun along here, which if you're on your first playthrough, you can take into the next level, which will help you out quite a bit. That ledge I just jumped onto there is quite hard to see, so make sure you are uh, looking out for that. Um, just kind of jump up and push into it, you'll land on it. The last crate, I shoot it from here. You can get closer along the platforms we're about to Jump along if you find it easier. It is in that cave straight ahead, where we are now. So once you here, you jump in here and just follow the last platforms up, and that should satisfy the objective for being three up to the top. Um, so we've had all three gum crates. Um, that we just have a couple of medals left to take care of. And the first one is quite uh, easy. It's It's right here when you get up to the top. The other one on the other hand is quite tricky, um, you might die trying to get it, but um, it is down here, you can see me looking at it, 
that landing is not flat, it is sloped, so you can slip off it. You can approach it from the way I have here. You can see me almost slip off there, or you can approach it from the other side and land on it, however which way. Luckily, there's health packs in here and your medal. That is your third medal for the level. Uh, so now you just need to get back up, but unfortunately, I don't think there's an easier way back up than just dropping down, taking the damage, and then um, working your way back up from basically... You can head back and take the shortcut again, but with that platform being a bit tricky, I took the safe route and show you the other way up if you choose to take this way. Um, so yeah, a few platforms, but no death underneath them if you fail. And here's Indiana Bones. Indiana Bones, I presume. Huh. And yeah, now you're just gonna you come back through here. You'll be back up the top where that shortcut took you out to. Hop back along the things up to the top and hit the exit um so i said a lot in there hopefully i didn't go too fast um basically your priority should be to beat three to the top and then backtrack for the objectives if you need to um or you can do everything along the way and get the last couple medals once you get up here if you like like i've shown plenty of time but yeah that's uh, mountains we'll move on to the snow base The snow base here, we level start to ramp up in difficulty a bit, in my opinion. Um, but hopefully, you don't struggle too much. Come to the left here, you can get a magnum, which would be helpful if you didn't bring the shotgun from the previous level, if you're playing replay level or whatever. Uh, then to the right here will be the key that we need to, you know, the seven floor key to get to through the next door. Just pick people off. As we go, there is a mask we're gonna get while we're here. Just make sure you take all these people first. Try not to get hit too much. Um, once you hit the seven, you can get some more magnum ammo behind that crate. Once you hit the seven, though, you're going to want to crouch behind uh, this window and look up, and you'll see just about the metal up there where I just shot. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So you're going to come back to the middle, get ready to fight off some bad people. More magnum ammo there if you need it. Obviously, I'd be, I'm using the shotgun, which you might not have if you're using replay level. I'd recommend the magnum if you don't have that. The sniper here is useful again, but magnum will also work quite well. Yeah, just be careful. Make sure you're aware of what enemies are around. They can move kind of erratically. Um, but yeah, your next once you cleared out that area, your next middle is up to the right. And off to the right of my screen at the moment is like four grenades behind a rock. So I'd recommend going and getting those because you don't see me get them despite the fact there's a cut right here. Um, so if you like using explosives, grab them. But it is quite easy to kill yourself with grenades in this level, I will say, because of how close quarters some of these hallways are. So bear that in mind. And I only use it with the shotgun too. But yeah, anyway, we're going to go through this hallway that was on the right of that room and take out these two computers, take out the people. That'll give you two out of three computers destroyed towards your objective. And take them out however which way you want. Grab the next floor key, seven key, whatever we're calling them. And then head back to the middle. Where you will see more people have spawned across in the well, the left side of where you originally came in. Uh, here's where the grenades were, if you needed them. There's a health pack there if you need it. And in here, there's four people to take out. And they might run, they might fight you, they might... Who knows? It's me struggling with the aiming. Um, yeah, if he sees you up there, he will come down this way. Once you're taking out all of them, look to the right here, and you'll see this hallway. There is a bunch of people in here. If you do have the grenade, you can try and clear them out. If not, you use your trick, slowly peek in. Pick them off, that'll set us to objective two. And then in the back of this room, you can see the uh, medal. So that should be medal three. And from there, head back out, head up this 
slope. So you should only be missing uh, one computer now or, uh, in terms of optional things. But uh, on your way up here, make sure you're careful about all the guys that can spawn. Not sure what happened there, but he briefly disappeared. <laughs> um, and just look out for all these people hiding around corners. The shotgun is up here. If you didn't bring it from the, or weren't able to bring it from the last level. Again, head back to this main room. The door at the front will now be open with a bunch of people in it. Um, if you've got the shotgun with your grenades, you can try and clear them out that way. And uh, get ready to go up this path. Now, be very careful coming up here. Uh, there is quite a lot of guys up here on the right, as you can just see right there. If you can get a grenade down there, take them up quite well. If not, just back up and just slowly pick off one by one, as you have been probably for the rest of the game, basically. Uh, but once you're up here, if you turn left here, jump over here, crouch under here, you can find the machine gun, which you might have spied earlier, along with a health kit if you need it, which is, you know, always useful. Come back, go to the right, and then in this little, like, storage room, you'll find a bunch of ammo along with your last computer for the uh, side objective. From here, it's basically a straight shot to the last uh, defense section, which can be a little tricky. There's a lot of doors they can come out of. But uh, as with all the others, step in the circle, hold it until it's at 100%, keep an ear out for where they're coming from. And there's, what, three doors at the bottom, two doors at the top. Uh, they can either be guns or they can be running at you. Again, I'd recommend the machine gun, but probably in its primary the slow rate of fire doesn't really suit this section that well. Uh, once it's done, you only get 30 seconds to escape, but it's really close. Thankfully, just run up the ramp on the right and uh, hit the exit. So there will be a checkpoint here. So don't worry too much about failing this part. Much like the gas labs level, uh, hold left trigger to sprint or move faster. It seems to when you turn, it slows down anyway. And you have plenty of plenty of time for to escape here, so don't panic too much. Um, but I recommend just holding down the speed. You'll probably slow down enough anyway. Uh, I'd say it's fairly easy up until maybe this cave. There's a couple of tight turns here to get round, which you might, if you're not slowing down already, release off a little bit. Um, and then when you get outside, just you don't need to go through the slalom flags or anything, just avoid them. But thankfully, uh, after this cave, uh, if you do happen to hit anything, there's a checkpoint right there. So uh, avoid these trees, but if you do were to you know, hit one, thankfully there is a checkpoint there. This uh, cave coming up, I'm not sure if it's possible to fall down this hole. Every time it looks like I failed to clear the gap and I just land on air like that anyway. Let me know in the comments if you uh, experience that as well, but be careful with that jump all the same. Through here, look out for all the uh, stalagmites, tights, coming which way around. Then out here's the, the flags I mentioned that you don't need to worry about going through as a slalom. Um, you can if you want to try and get uh, fancy, um, but there's no requirement to. And then just make sure you don't hit the fence here and get through the gap to hit the exit. And that is Snowbase, so I'll see you guys in the next mission. And we're back in the London HQ. Uh, this time we do not need to go see Smithers, so we can just go ahead and just run straight up to Mother in his office. Um, we'll start the next mission for the gondola. This mission is like on rails, so the medals are a little bit tricky to get. There's no other optional objectives, you just have to get the three medals. Uh, and for the three stars, you just need to beat the mission. You'll automatically get three stars. So it's a little tricky to hit those medals though, because there is not much. You can't stop when you want, obviously being on rails. So bear that in mind. I like using the machine gun to just kind of spray and pray because my aiming is that bad. But if you're better at the aiming, feel free to use whatever you want. 
Um, you'll stop here for the first time and have your first kind of shooting gallery of enemies. There's two spots that does this in the game, uh, the level. Uh, so once you've done that first one, you start pulling away. Look to the right on these set of boxes and you'll see the medal right there on the wall. Uh, pretty easy to restart the level from right there, though, if you do happen to miss that one. The next part here, there'll be two boats coming left to right. The left boat doesn't have anybody on it, so just look to the right. But this uh, yacht, boat, whatever it is, take out the guys on this one. I, this is where I prefer the slow shooting machine gun. A little bit more accurate for the distance. Uh, and then when you come through this kind of bridge that we're going under, turn around and look to your right. And you should see the mask metal up there on the bridge. I was uh, a little bit bad with the aim there. And then quickly turn back around and start shooting at all the mines that hit in the river or the canal in front of you. Um, once we get past this corner, make sure you, once you take out the mines, look up to the right to see the last metal up high on the wall. And then in front, there'll be two boats coming left and right. They both have a single enemy on them. Uh, the first one from the right, the second one from the left. Then you've got your last kind of shootout here in front of this building that's dead ahead. Just start picking them off from the windows with whatever weapon you please. Uh, you will automatically have the machine gun from the beginning of the level, I should have mentioned. Um, so you don't need to worry about bringing that from anywhere. But those are the two weapons you have, the pistol, machine gun. So take your pick, just take out all the enemies. Again, I think there's a, what, three windows and then like four or five spots down below they can come from. It's not too hard though, because there's nobody that can run at you. You just need to, which makes it a little easier. But then that's it. Gondolas is done. So now we are in the cellars. Uh, first metal is right here at the beginning. Just drop off the uh, pier dock that we just came on and see it right there. After that, we're going to head through the, the only way we can go. Watch out for that guy. Look in the other way. Turn to the left. We'll head in here. There's going to be some guys to take out in this wine cellar. Um, and then your first gun crate that we need to take out will be on the left. Uh, there's a guy left here I need to take out. Uh, but this first room on your left here, hug the left wall, you'll find gun crate. Your second medal is behind these barrels, if you follow the room to the left again. So there's your two, one medal left. Um, again, more guys. I'd argue these guys are easier to take out than the snow base ones, so hopefully you don't have much of a problem with them. Your last medal will be in this next room. But uh, there are some guys to take out. Look out for that guy on the close right. The medal is right here next in this pallet of barrels. First one on your left if you're looking at the uh, number seven. Uh, gun crate off there over to the right of the seven as you're coming at it. It's two out of three crates. As you can imagine, this level is fairly short. Like everywhere else in the game, as soon as you hit that seven, more enemies spawn, a door opens, the usual stuff. Come into this back room where they came from and uh, shoot the barrels or sprint into them, whatever you want to do to uh, find the last gun crate. Slowly work your way back to where you turned left at the beginning of the level and you should find that that door is open now. Make sure there's no enemies looking to sneak up on you. Uh, this time we're going to go to what would have been the right, but straight across from where we're at, basically. Drop down here into the water. So now we're in the, I guess, the cellar of the cellar. Uh, hit the checkpoint. And then just be careful around all these corners. There is spider bots that will mess you up and forget you can sprint backwards <laughs> um they are in set spots i believe but anyway 
go straight ahead, uh, shoot open this vent, find these couple people looking at a pile of paper. We know what we do with piles of paper by now. We shoot them to satisfy objectives. So now what we've got to do is finish the level, which is just through these tunnels. But again, watch out for the spider bots uh, that are around corners like that. This one has some both ways. So I recommend triggering them and then back up uh, to let them all come in front of you. Turn to the right, go through here. You can find the shotgun here, which will be useful for the next level if you're playing this, not through your replay mission. Uh, and as soon as you hit that seven, you are on a timer, but there's there's enough time, but there is more spider bots, so be fast but careful. And uh, slowly but steadily make your way to the exit. Once you're here, you can grab some more shotgun ammo. You've got the time, and then up here is the exit. Alright, archives can be a little tricky because there is no checkpoints, um, so be careful. Uh, but usual drill, we're going to have three hostages to rescue, we're going to have the three medals, and then a room to clear out. Um, but yeah, so come along here, there's going to be three guys in here initially, two up top and one usually coming from downstairs. Uh, in your room here to the right is going to be the best place to start, because especially if you're playing replay mission or you got the pistol, you can come in here and get a full arsenal of weapons to help you out. Uh, also in here is a vent. I want to come in here, you'll find your first hostage. He's just chilling out next to the bed. Not sure what they were doing with him, but uh, yeah. And then out here, you're going to want to carefully peek out, look for guys in the maze if you can. It'll help you in a, you know, a little bit when we go down there. You can see the second hostage in the maze down there. Um, but I will show you where to get him once we're in the maze as well. And yeah, so you can see people moving around like little ants in the maze. There's two more here. If you aren't able to kill them before they start aggroing you, they will be outside when we come back. So be warned. You'll see that in a minute when I come out. Uh, there's two pieces of evidence out here on the balcony and a medal. So the medal is... Uh, over here next to the left one. Kind of off in the distance. Uh, so once you grab the metal and the two pieces of evidence, head back through the vent. And then once you get back to the kind of foyer, be careful of them coming up the ramp if they haven't already. Uh, because that is where they'll be coming from. See them down there for me. They have machine guns. So while it doesn't do a lot of damage, they can get a lot of bullets in fast. That will obviously ruin your day. And uh, once you're down here, we'll grab the second medal before we head anywhere, which is just under the ramp uh, across from you. So grab that, and then I'm going to head into the maze, which has been on the right when we first uh, we first came down. Go ahead and come into the maze. Go left first. It doesn't matter, really. you got to come both ways anyway. But I like to go left first, grab this document. It's easy to get lost in here, I would say, but it's n there's not that many paths, so it's easy to get yourself out again, if that makes sense. But just be careful for anybody you might miss, like I have. And just keep working your way around till you get to the helicopter. There'll be three bits of evidence at the helicopter. Or a quick triple pickup. From here, you're going to want to head back to the entrance of the maze and go to the right. Um, ignore me getting lost. We just come back the way we come came. There's no other things to get here. There's an example of a dead end. Like I said, there's not that many dead ends. So you find one, you come out, and you're probably going to find the other way. Anyway, to the right here. Just go all the way to the right. Go all the way up. We'll find the document. If you didn't get the hostage yet, he is around this other path. Not that dead end. Just follow it around here and you should see him. Well, he's standing up for me because we shot him from the balcony, but you can get him there as well. 
So from here, come back inside. There will be a guy up top on the balcony waiting. Take him out. Uh, then go to the left. In these bookcases, there is another piece of evidence and then this vent. Go through the vent. Uh, this is the other optional objective for taking everybody out in this room. Um, you don't have to destroy the computers. You can if you want. Um, but the objective will clear once you've taken out all four enemies that are in here. Uh, so a pretty easy objective. So from here, we go back out the vent. We turn to the left to go to the next area, which is the library, I believe. Or it's called the far room. Uh, there is a guy that walk, patrols uh, anti-clockwise around here, so I like to go clockwise to cut him off so he doesn't come up behind me. Take him out. There'll be two guys in this section here. In the next section, there'll be two guys behind the grating here. One there and one in the far right one here. There is some other ones that might see you from a little bit further afield. They tend to come to the right here, but be careful if they decide to loop to the left. Um, but once all four of them are taken out, you should be in the clear, basically, until you hit the countdown key. Round this dead end is the mask on the bookshelf there. So make sure you grab that. And then go ahead and follow the path the rest of the way. Once you're at this far end, there's a document here and your final hostage. Rescue him. And then double back into those sections you saw through the grates to grab the last two documents. Once you pick up this last document, the timer will start. So theoretically, you could save one of the other documents in the middle if you wanted. I like just to do it like this. There's plenty of time for whichever one you pick up last. Um, so anyway, head back the way you came into the middle. There will be dudes here waiting for you. Three at the front here, one off to the right waiting. From here, just head up the slope on the opposite side from the uh, start of the mission and the exit is right here in front of you. All right, we're back in the London office for the last few missions of the main storyline. Um, we're going to go straight to Mother again. No need to stick around and see Smithers. Um, and we're going to, once you talk to him, we won't even go anywhere. We'll be starting the next mission from right here in the HQ. We are under siege. So to start off with, I'd like to head out of his office and turn to the left room. There is a Magnum in here. That is nice to grab. Then from here, we're going to head out the door and turn to the right to start with. And you'll see a guy chilling with his back to you for an easy kill. Um, in the pool room, which is here, we can find a medal on the actual pool table. These medals are different from the uh, hub level mission, I should say. Uh, but yeah, when you come back out, go to the left, you'll see some guys waiting to ambush you down there. Take them out. Loop around here. Uh, I like to push straight across, avoiding that door. Take out the two guys that are in the uh, agent's office here for some throwing knives, health pack there if you need it. Uh, there's some more magnum ammo on the desks, so we can come back for the health like I've decided to do. There's a few more guys in here, so I like to you know carefully peek until I can take them out. One more guy on your close left. Behind him is a shotgun. So thankfully you didn't have to go too long without one in this mission. It is very useful. In here we're just going to go straight to the uh, toilets. Don't mind me jumping at nothing. Uh, to the right here is where all the people are hanging out. There is also the key here on the floor. Uh, but the medal is in the other bathroom, in the uh, the men's. You can see the medal in this right-hand stool, and then shotgun ammo in the left-hand stool. Uh, so grab that. Uh, I like to grab that before I grab the key, but it does not matter, really. Uh, come back out, and back at the entrance to where you start the HQ is three guys waiting for you. So now we're going to start heading towards Smithers. Um, 
watch out for the people trying to prevent that. Uh, once you're in here, the room on the right where the boat used to be is got two people in there. I should mention too, there's no optional objectives. Uh, the last medal is here on the left. You can get it later on if you'd like, but this is nicer for not having to do it during the countdown. Uh, but yeah, there's no other optional objectives. The only optional things here are the medals. Uh, be careful once you hit this seven. You do have plenty of time here, as you'll see me mess it up quite a bit uh, and still have time to finish. Uh, but be careful on your close left as you come around the side here. There is a guy here, and he has messed me up more than once. If you just sprint past, he will just decimate you. Uh, so take him out. Watch out for the guy up there, the guy that likes to come down close. If the guy up there moves, chances are he's going to push you like that. Uh, the other medal is up here. If you uh, didn't shoot it already. Um, and then as you see I get lost here for no reason at all. Uh, there is a health kit. Which is nice to have for the last little stretch. Uh, again, here's the medal in case <laughs> you needed it again. But anyway, from here we're just going to head back out the way we came to Q's uh, the main room with his car and whatnot. Uh, there's going to be a few guys in here to take out. Once you've taken them out, just run through the door that's open, turn to the left at the end, and you'll see the exit. And uh, that is it for Siege. All right, uh, last real level of the main story, and uh, again, no optional objectives. So if you turn to the right here, you can grab some shotgun ammo and some grenades. Uh, there is three medals to get though, uh, but no optional objectives. The shotgun's there if you didn't already have it from the last level. Watch out for the trains, the trains will one-shot you. If you uh, get hit, that's it, you're dead. So jump up here onto this platform, and I'll wait around for the train to come back. You can reset his timer, run down the rest of the way into this signposted thing. Oh, tunnel. Watch out for the three guys that are down here. Get to our first seven key. Grab that, turn around, come back. There'll be a guy in this tunnel. Again, watch out for the train. Plenty of, you know, you can take your time if you need to. Up onto the uh, platform, there's going to be guys on these steps. Grenade launcher is my weapon of choice here. But take care of them however you want. There's a couple of med kits there if you need them as well. Uh, in here, there's going to be guys with riot shields. I like to try and get the grenade on them if I can. Uh, if not, do the usual peek and etc. So your first medal is going to be here on the right as you're pushing through the kind of hallway. If you keep going to the end and turn right, you can see the next enemy uh, through the grate and get the drop on him, so you don't have to worry about him shooting at you. Crouch into the hole down the steps here, and you'll see uh, a guy through the fence here to take him out. If he runs away, away he'll come to you. Uh, as you go through here, instead of turning right, turn left to find your second medal. Uh, on the right here is a rifle. Now for the rest of the mission, we're pretty much following set path. The last medal is right at the very end, um, which we'll get to obviously. Sneak back through here, hit the checkpoint. And then from here, you just want to go all the way forward. Watch out for that guy on the left through the last door. Two more guys here at the top of the steps. Uh, then you're going to head down these steps. There's going to be some guys on the train track. There's going to be two or three on the left here, but there will be one on the far right as well. Um, so make sure you don't forget about him like I have. Once you've taken them out, it's a case of waiting for this train again on the uh, other side of the platform. There it goes. Once it's gone, sprint as far as you can. The uh, the yellow things on the wall sticking out, 
signpost little uh, kind of nooks that you can uh, step into. So once you can, grab that, grab the seven. You have plenty of time here. You can grab the seven, run all the way like I do, which is pretty risky. Um, but feel free to just take the extra stop in one of those nooks if you need. Uh, but don't waste too much time because the last metal is right at the very end here. So you want to make sure you've got enough time to grab the metal before we hit the exit. Uh, go through that crouch hole. Keep working your way through these tunnels. Grab the health pack if you need it. Watch out for the guys through hiding around corners. So there's quite a few of them. You have plenty of time, but you don't want to waste too much being too slow with these guys. I get stuck here on, I'm not even sure what. Uh, but yeah, watch out for the last couple in these tunnels. And then once you get here, do not hit the exit. Go to the left of Agent 6 here. Scoot around the ledge, don't fall in. And you'll see the metal down below right there. Now you can go ahead and hit that exit to finish up uh, the tunnels. Alright, so the last level here is just a boss fight, no medals, you just have to win and you get the three stars. Um, so the best way I found to defeat him is just punch while backing up. Once you get too far back, kind of loop around him and do the same again. He can't seem to be able to hit you once he's, once you're backing up, like his reach is not that good. So I get, you know, punch a few and back up and you'll see, I mean he manages to get a hit in there because I get cocky but... Um, after that, you've got one of these endless running sections. I pretty much held left trigger the entire time here. You don't have much room for error, it seems. It's main, You can run over the smaller blocks, as you can see me doing here, but the bigger blocks will kill you. Uh, there is a checkpoint between the two, though, so not to worry if you do end up dying. And that is it for the final level. Now technically the game's not finished yet, you shouldn't get your achievement for beating the game uh, until we do this last little bit. Once you're in your apartment here, head to this close one to hit travel, go back to London, and we're going to check in with Mother to trigger the kind of ending cutscenes and credits and whatnot, which will then give you your achievement for the best spy in the world if it pops correctly. So, as usual, hit the question mark, he'll talk to you a bit. And then you'll get the credits very much inspired by Goldeneye. Uh, the cutscene with the Queen. And, uh... Thanks for playing! Alright. Move on to some side missions. So, for both side missions, they take place uh, off the Jamaica level. So go ahead and travel to Jamaica. For golf, we're going to head straight up. And once you get to the uh, open road, turn to the right. And then on your left, you'll see the bank. Head in here, and we'll find uh, Lotta's dad again. Talk to him, he wants us to clear out his uh, golf club house, so we're going to go ahead and take him up on that offer. This is a fairly standard mission, but there is no optional objectives, but there is three medals. But overall, it's a pretty easy mission. Uh, it's kind of in line with the beach level with the types of enemies. Start off, we're just going to take out these enemies right here. And there's an enemy over there by that tree. That's one of the ones with the guns. Just run up this golf course here. Watch out for the spider uh, bots. They come from both sides. They're all fairly obvious. You've got plenty of room to see them as they approach you. Uh, from here, you can see one of the guys off in the distance if you want to try and take him out. Or you can wait until you pick up the rifle, which is right here. Along with some ammo for it. Uh, and then there's... Uh, a couple guys to take out right there one more guy behind this rock that likes to hide out and then i recommend going to the left here because there is a shotgun a favorite weapon and grab some more pistol ammo if you need it grab the seven by the hole and then head back this way this will open the door that was here which means there'll be guys inside it watch out for that 
one of them likes to throw the knife at you. In here there's three people I think, maybe four to take out. Um, five in fact, sorry. So once you're taking all of those out, feel free to uh, not sprint across the planks because you will break them. This gives me a chance to show that there is shotgun ammo over here if you need it and hop up here. Uh, if you do break it, it's not a big deal. Plenty of room to jump it. More shotgun ammo if you need it. And then head in through here. Uh, your first medal will be in this back right uh, barn, I guess is what it is, uh, up on that pillar. Um, then back here, we're going to do some platforming. Don't fall in. Not advisable. Uh, grab the seven. And jump all the way back. There's going to be a bunch of guys that have spawned in and around these barns now that you've picked that up. So watch out for that. I like to not cut through the middle because obviously then they'll come from left and right. I like to just leap all the way to the right here. And uh, you can see, you know, there's six or so enemies in this area now to take out. So from here, we'll head back to that room where I broke the planks and we will go through the opposite door. Turn right. If you have any grenades left here, it will be very useful. I do not. So uh, you'll see why in a minute. At the end here, turn left, find the next seven. Head back the way you came to see a army of enemies coming towards you. As you can see, if you had a grenade, that'd be a perfect place to use it as they come over the hill here. But it's simple enough with just the shotgun. Take them all out. This will allow you to progress this way. And then from here we're going to go to the left. Loop around the house and you'll see a pathway to go through. Uh, once you're here you're going to want to turn to the left again. And we'll find a metal on the kind of lowered kind of trench area. Uh, so take that one out. Head up the golf course now. And next to this kind of cave up above it. On the wall at the back of the building you should see your last medal and then we're gonna head over up the rest of the golf course to hit the next seven which is over here by the flag again once you take that out there's gonna be a bunch of enemies spawning from those caves that we saw on our way over so take those out and then head back the way you came towards the front of the house Again, watch out for enemies that have spawned in the meantime. Unfortunately, you can't shoot the guys that you can see in the window from here. At least as far as I could tell, the glass is apparently bulletproof. Um, but watch out for the two guys on top of the, the kind of awning, balcony, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, health in the thing if you need it. And then inside, we will see there's a locked door on the right. And to the left, we're going to... Clear out that room that we saw from inside the window, essentially, to get to the last seven of the level. So once you've taken out all three of those guards, run up, take the seven, and then run back. There will be a new guy that has spawned out here, as you would expect. Two of them, in fact. And then I'm here, check your corners. Make sure you take them all out. And then once you come out this back door here, that is it. Sprint to the finish. No timer or anything. So pretty leisurely level. And that is it with golf. So the next level is another side mission. Again, we're going to start in Jamaica. Uh, head straight ahead until you get to the road. And then just kind of do a U-turn, turn right, and then right again to find this. Follow the sign for boat hire. And go into the building. Hit this guy's question mark. This will start up the side mission for the speedboat. There's no medals here. There's no side objectives. You simply just got to finish the level to get the achievement or progression, 100% requirement tied to it. And it's fairly basic. You just follow the checkpoints. Um, you can follow me here if you're not sure where any of the next ones are. Uh, unfortunately, this game doesn't like to pause when you press start, so it might be a little tricky to watch and play at the same time, but it, 
as with most kind of time trial type racing games, you hit a checkpoint, you get more time. But at no point should you ever be going down, I wouldn't think, at each checkpoint. Each checkpoint you should end up with more and more unless you've like managed to crash pretty horrifically. And uh, it's basically just a race around the outer perimeter of the beat, or the kind of the main game's beatboat level as far as I could tell. Uh, I'm not going to bother giving commentary for the rest of this because I'm not sure what I would say. You just follow the arrows and then once you get to the end you'll get your last uh, three star medal for the mission. That just leaves us with the last three medals in each of the hub worlds. Um, so we're going to start off with Office HQ London. Go straight ahead, turn right into the toilets, and then inside the uh, one of the stalls, much like the campaign mission, there is a medal in the ladies. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go towards Smithers' is kind of lab. And uh, this one's a little tricky. You can use the box that's uh, behind me at the moment to jump up on here, or you can just sprint jump like we have been the rest of the game. Um, but here's the box if you need it. It's up on that table. Uh, from here, sprint jump into this vent. And then kind of follow this vent, and then it should be fairly obvious once you're here that the metal is on the wall. So that is two. Feel free to mess around with the the targets if you want head back through the uh the vent and then we're going to head towards the replay mission room which is the other room that isn't the snooker one opposite mother uh and here you should see the portrait of one on the wall shoot that and then shoot the mask that's all three for the office um for the snooker king achievement we'll quickly cover that that is in this room here and you just gotta shoot all the balls into the hole. Uh, you can, if you'd like, kind of play it legit and shoot the, you know, the white ball into the red ball. But once the white ball's pocketed, you can't get it back out. So you mess up like that, you're stuck to shooting all the red balls until they all go in. Uh, not much else to say on this level, but um. Yeah, your achievement should pop once. This is like the only miscellaneous achievement in the whole game, which is a little odd. But yeah, once you've pocketed them all, you should get it to unlock. Huh. Headed now to Jamaica. Um, first medal here is kind of right at the beginning. You're going to want to jump on these boxes on your left, hop up onto this red awning, and then kind of do a kind of awkward jump over the fence here. And then behind these fish boxes, whatever they are, uh, there is a medal on the back side of them. Uh, your second medal, you go ahead up into the main street, turn left this time. And then in the crack in these wooden kind of gates here, you should see the medal on the other side. And then for the last one, we're going to head uh, kind of towards the apartments. We're going to turn to the right here, but uh, kind of very similar to the first one. You just want to jump over the fence that's kind of straight ahead of us here. You can make it from here. It's a little bit harder, 
um, but I mean you can also kind of do a sprint jump up off this box and then it's on the back side right there and that is all three of them for Jamaica Airplane is nice and quick. If you uh, fast travel here through the travel menu, uh, you'll see the first medal right up here behind it. And uh, from here, you're going to want to uh, go through the curtains until you get to kind of the, the non-seated area, whatever that's called. And on the right here, you should see the kind of uh, hostess cart, blow that up or destroy it. And then behind it is your second medal. Now push all the way to the end, go down the steps, and then keep an eye out on the right. Uh, one of these chairs through these curtains will have it on the back end of it. There you go in the second second row in the second room that you come to. Here's your third and final medal. Alright, last hub world is Switzerland or Christmas Town or whatever you want to call it. Uh, first medal, go ahead, go over the bridge, turn to the left. Hop up on the little railing here and then up over the snow and then back here you should find the medal behind the big mound of snow. Uh, your second medal we're going to go ahead and head over to the market stall. You might have seen this one if you hadn't already got it on your uh, playthrough towards the mountain missions but it's on the left side here in this market stall I guess it is. Then uh, your final medal is head through the tunnels behind that turn to the left come to this uh, hallway with the three barrels in it here and you should see the metal behind them see me looking around here for a second but it is back here behind these three barrels and that is your last metal for the game all right so thanks everybody for checking out this video i uh, hope it was helpful to you um in your quest for 100 percent or your achievements or whatever you are going for uh i really enjoyed this game i wish the aiming was a bit better but um maybe that's just me let me know in the comments below what you thought of the game if this guide helped you make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with a friend that is struggling maybe and uh i hope to see you all in the next video